Yo guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a destroy lonely type beat. And let's get into it. So the first thing I did was create this chord progression right here. And as you can see, it's really simple. First two chords are like pretty much the exact same. I have these root notes copied over to a bottom octave. And then right here, I pretty much just copied the exact same thing, except I changed the bottom notes. So as you can see, I changed this A to an F sharp, and I changed this F sharp to a B. But literally, that's the whole chord progression, so I kept it really simple, but just really vibey. And for Destroy Lonely Type Beats, it's not really like the melodies and stuff that's like the more important part. It's mainly your sound selection and stuff, so I went to Electra X for this, so I guess like any sort of pad, any sort of key type sound, just find like good sounds and like your beat will sound good. Then I went and copied the exact same pattern into this pad. And this pad like sort of has like a really long attack. So like it fades in and it just has like a different sort of vibe to the track. So yeah, I just think it adds like a lot of like energy and ambience to the track. Then I added this little bell melody. And as you can see, I kept it super simple. I just copied the exact same two bars over. And then I went and found this other like little ambient sound. It sounded more like vocally, so I just thought it went with a beat. And then I went ahead and copied the exact same pattern, except I changed up the last two bars. So if this was like an eight bar pattern, the pattern that I just showed you like before would have been the first four bars and this would have been the last four bars, but I'm too lazy to like have an eight bar pattern. So I just did this. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole melody, so let's get right on to the drums. So I kept my hi-hat super simple. So for my clap, I pretty much just placed it where you'd normally place it, but then I added like the two claps in the middle, and then I also went into control and note pan, and as you can see, I made it go from left to right, left to right. Then I got this little rim shot right here, and once again, I wanted to note pan and change the panning a little bit. And then I went ahead and added this open hat. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole percussion bit. Kept it really simple, but just really bouncy. So yeah, let's continue the 808. So I chose the Zeta 808 and kept it super, super simple. Just followed the root notes of the melody, which is like the bottom notes of like the chord progression that I showed you. And yeah, here I let you listen. So as you can see, I moved the velocity all the way up and I also turned it into a box shape and turned on cut self. And my mixing was pretty much all done over here. Like I didn't do anything to the levels and I just added this EQ to like all of my melodies because they all go to the first mixture track. And then I also added a soft clipper to the master just for like extra mixing, but that's really all I do. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole beat. I just went ahead and arranged it. You guys can see how I arranged it right here. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole beat. So yeah, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, here's the full beat.